one more. Botany can be really daunting. I have known quite a few people who are very, very interested in plants, and they decided to take a botany course in college, and they said they actually went screaming away from it. When I ask you to do a plant family report, I ask you to look in three books. Yes. I ask you to look in Botany in a Day, mm -hmm. which is really easy to understand and mm -hmm. often becomes a big favorite of the apprentices for the rest of their time, here and not here. I ask you to look in um, uh, Gleason and Conquest. Mm -hmm. And Gleason and Conquest was frightening, right? Yes. It was, it's the book that's used as a college-level text. And the, the glossary is over 30 pages. Mm -hmm. So it's really daunting. You can hardly understand a word that is said. And then I also ask you to look at Britton and Brown. Mm -hmm. And if you want to graduate, keep using your Peterson Field Guide. It will always be your friend. It's still my friend all of these years later. But Britton and Brown has a three-volume field guide to the plants of the Northeast. And every flowering plant is in there. This field guide, let's face it, only has a little over a thousand plants. It's a lot. But it's not every plant. It's most of them, but not every single one. So when you come down to really trying to get the species, then you know, written in brown is a good one. But you need not run in fear from botany. Botany, especially for herbalists, can be really, really easy. Remember that Tara's assignment is to bring the genus, species, and family of a plant to Talking Stick each day, and she gets the genus, species, and family here from her field guide. But let's talk just a little bit about what these things are and what they mean. A genus is a more general name, and a species is a more specific name. The specific name, the species, can be repeated in different genera, which is the plural of genus. So I can have dandelion, Taraxacum officinale, and then I can have rosemary, Rosmarinus officinalis, because they're in different genera. But I couldn't have two officinalis in the same genus. Ah, so the species is a smaller name than the genus. There are many species within a genus. The genus is the smaller name within the family. Genus names generally do not repeat, even if they are in a totally different family. They tend to be quite unique. And the family name is the largest designation. It includes an entire group of plants. You will often hear me saying things like, well, this is in the mint family, and like many plants in the mint family, or this is in the mallow family, and the other plants in the mallow family do this. Learning about your plant families, I call the royal road to herbalism. Have you enjoyed learning about the plant families? Yes. Have you found that it's really expanded your ability mm -hmm. to understand and use the plants? Botany. You don't need to run away from it. Run toward it. You'll <laughs> find that it will really help your herbal medicine a lot.